breaking news, terror in Charlottesville. Chaos in the streets as a car plows into a crowd of people. Pools of blood all over the ground, people screaming. I've never seen such a horrific, blatant racist attack in my entire life. After clashes between white nationalists and counter protesters, victims thrown in the air, one woman dead, others critically wounded. It became a big doggone melee out here. The alleged driver arrested. What we're learning about the suspect this morning was he fueled by hate? And fighting erupts. Watch your Nazi! On the streets of this American city, hate groups making Nazi salutes. Please go home and never come back. Skirmishing with counter protesters, beating each other with clubs, kicking each other to the ground. This is a battleground right now. Police in riot gear out in full force. Get out of the park. Overnight, mourning two of their own. A police helicopter crashing. And this morning, President Trump under fire. We condemn in the strongest possible terms this egregious display of hatred, bigotry, and violence on many sides. Taking heat for what he did not say, even members of his own party speaking out. The fallout this morning. From ABC News, live in New York, this is Good Morning America. Good Sunday morning, everyone. Dan is off once again. It is great to have Matt Gutman with me once again on this very busy morning as we cover the chaos and violence in Charlottesville, Virginia, that ended in tragedy. This graphic image capturing the horror, showing a car ramming into a crowd of people. You see those bodies flying. A horrifying scene with deadly results. Horrifying indeed. It capped a day of protests, white nationalists clashing with counter protesters. In scenes like this on the streets that erupted into pure chaos, the hate boiled over with the governor declaring a state of emergency and Attorney General Jeff Sessions has opened a federal civil rights investigation. Now, here's what we know. Three people were killed. A 32-year-old woman who was hit by that car that plowed into the crowd, as well as two state troopers. In total, 35 people hurt. Police have arrested the alleged driver, 20-year-old James Fields Jr. from Ohio. They're looking more at his motive, and we want you to take a look at the cover of The Daily Progress. It's the local newspaper covering Charlottesville with the headline, A Day of Death. And we have full team coverage of this story this morning, and we begin with Eva Pilgrim on the ground in Charlottesville. Good morning, Eva. Guys, several people are still fighting for their lives this morning. Now the FBI is investigating the motive behind that deadly crash that killed one person hey. here in Charlottesville. Hey. Don't worry. Panic and chaos. A car plowing through a crowd of people protesting against a white nationalist rally in Charlottesville. Go, 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 go. This morning, the suspected driver, 20-year-old James Alex Fields Jr., is behind bars. Authorities say Fields, a registered Republican, lives in Maumee, Ohio, almost eight and a half hours away. His mother telling the AP she knew her son was traveling to Virginia for a rally. I didn't know it was white supremacist. I thought it had something to do with Trump. Trump's not a supremacist. This video showing Fields under arrest shortly after the crash. It happened just before 2 p.m. Counter protesters marching through downtown sent scrambling. A car just plowed through hundreds of people downtown Charlottesville. Here you can see the silver 2010 Dodge Challenger barreling down the hill toward a sea of targets with little time to react, slamming to a stop only after it hit a van and another car. Locked in, that car shifting in reverse, screeching back down the street to get away. Shoes all over the ground, pools of blood all over the ground, people screaming. One person, a 32-year-old woman, left dead. 19 more rushed to the hospital, five in critical condition. I can tell you that the injuries are ranging from life-threatening to, uh, to minor at this point. The destructive aftermath on the street, leaving bystanders searching for their loved ones. Oh, I need my sister. Others jumping in, carrying those hurt in the collision, desperately searching for help. This following nearly 24 hours of unrest. White lives matter! White lives matter! White nationalists stormed the University of Virginia's campus Friday night, protesting plans to remove a statue of Confederate General Robert E. Lee. The violence only escalating Saturday, chaos in the streets, 
as demonstrators clashed with counter protesters. The governor declaring a state of emergency. There's fighting happening in the streets. Police using pepper spray. Then the situation taking that deadly turn. I'm so shaking. I am. Coming down. I, uh, I saw the car coming down the hill, throwing bodies over top of it until the car cleared and saw the smash with the chill. That's going to stay with me for a while. And Fields was charged with second degree murder as well as failing to stop at a deadly accident. He is being held without bond, guys. Thanks, Eva. It's chilling to think that the damage to that car was caused by human bodies. And I want to ask you, after almost 18 hours of continuous violence, Friday into Saturday, last night, surprisingly quiet. Matt, it was quiet last night. Police were given extra powers and able to be able to keep the peace. They were given the ability to enforce curfew, something they didn't need to do because it stayed quiet. But definitely here in town, you can feel and see the police presence. Paula? Eva, we want to thank you for your reporting. Hi, everyone. George Stephanopoulos here. Thanks for checking out the ABC News YouTube channel. If you'd like to get more videos, show highlights, and watch live event coverage, click on the right over here to subscribe to our channel. And don't forget to download the ABC News app for breaking news alerts. Thanks for watching.